Well, I'm at the 100D compound right now, joined by River as he's about to head out to Worlds in just a little bit. River, yep. let's talk a little bit about the fact that you're going to Worlds. We'll get right back to the rest of the video in just a second, but did you know Worlds is coming up? And why not, ahead of Worlds, enter a new world with Boot.dev, the sponsor of this video. With Boot.dev, you can learn backend web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages. And I know that might sound not super fun, but Boot.dev makes it fun by turning it into a game. That's right, it's an RPG game that is self-paced and captivating, and that is why it ends up being the best way to learn programming, because you never get bored. The platform is designed to get you writing a ton of codes, because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only way to really learn. And if you're ever struggling to understand a concept, Boots, a powerful bear wizard that's been trained on each lesson, can walk you through your issues. The creators of Boot.dev never want a student feeling like they spent money on something that isn't helping them, so they offer a 30-day no questions asked refund policy. At Boot.dev, they believe that learning to code is not a get-rich-quick scheme, and going deep into the materials and taking time on the fundamentals so that you are as prepared as you can be for your job search. One of the things I love about Boot.dev is they understand that not everyone has the money to spend on a membership, and so all their content is free to read and watch in guest mode. But the paid membership unlocks interactivity and the game that goes along it. Click the link in the description and use my code to get 25% off your first month or even your first year if you decide to sign up for the annual plan. Did you expect 100 Thieves to make it to Worlds this year? To be honest, no. Maybe no one is expect like we're gonna make Worlds, mm -hmm. but we made it, so. Yeah, well, why do you think you made Worlds even if no one expected it? Uh, I think uh, meta was pretty good for us, and then C9 was kind of doomed. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why were they doomed? Uh, I heard they didn't find Scream team C9, mm. and yeah. then <clears throat> so Team McDonald like helped them like mm. Posh, Contracts, Parapox, Tactical, who uh, Ole. Yeah. And contract said to me, looks like C9 pretty bad. <laughs> OK. So I got confidence from that. Yes. And then like, maybe we can win. All right. Yeah. That's crazy. OK, I had not heard that story. That's uh, wild to hear. Uh, what do you think it is about this team that allowed you to win 100 Thieves? Because uh, many players and people, I was just talking to Golden Glue, who yeah. said this was a development roster. So I think. Probably, you thought, all right, we will take one year off from Worlds, we'll build these players, maybe go next year. So yeah, yeah. why do you think these five players were able to go? Mm, I think we have many young players. So I think they have good mechanics. Yeah. So I don't want to like do macro. I just want to fight with good hands. So that's why we made yeah. Worlds, I think. Okay, so but you have to do some macro, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, for sure. Yeah, do you lead the team in macro decisions? Mm, usually, coaches like coaches coaching like macro for mm -hmm. us, and then I knew macro like some macro, but yeah. coaches helped us a lot. Yeah. All right, so you have this team that is going to Worlds. You did not make it, or did not expect to make Worlds. Now you're at Worlds, yeah. so how far can 100 Thieves go? Mm, to be honest, if we make like uh, main stage, yeah. then I don't think we're gonna like any win. Mm. But in planes, yeah. like against R7, right? Yes. Like it's so lucky. Okay. Not yeah. like, like Ares team, like PSG. So I think like we're gonna win like easily. So it's gonna be good warm up games. Yeah. All right. So if you don't expect to win in Swiss stage, yeah. What will you try to do at Worlds for this team? Uh, what will you try to gain? Mm, I don't think we can like we can get many wins in yes. Swiss stage. Sure. So our mindset should be like experience mm -hmm. so maybe that's it yeah 
What has it been like working with these players this year compared to previous teams and players that you have played with? In this team, I think uh, many young players, right? So I can get like young energy. Yeah. And then even like we played bad in scrims, we just say like, why you play like this? Yeah. And then next game, like nothing. You know what I mean? So it was really good for me. And then like we have good vibe, good mood. Yeah. So it's good. You said that you play with these younger players, they give you young energy. Yeah. Do they ever make you feel old? Uh, sniper always say to me, like, you are old or <laughs> like, like, you are boomer. Yeah. So, like, it makes me like, I'm too old now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say back to Sniper when he says you're too old or a boomer? Uh, I flame him, like, shut the freak up. <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up, like something. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. You put him in his place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, okay. Are you worried for the young players when they go to Worlds? Because they will maybe scrim <coughs> teams who are way better than LCS teams. Yeah. And I know for some LCS players, when they go to Worlds and they get in scrims, they go, oh my God, this is so scary. So, and that can be bad for them. So, are you. Are you worried at all? Do you talk to the players at all? Mm, against FlyQuest, I feel like everyone was nervous and then we played like big stage, right? Yeah. That was first time for us and then like people was nervous, looks like. So uh, I worried about in worse, mm -hmm. way bigger, right? Yeah. So uh, hopefully they are not nervous and they like play aggressive. Yeah. Do you think scrims can be scary for them if they scrim very good teams? If you scrim very good teams, can scrims be too much for these players? Mm, I'm not sure, but uh, it's going to be hard for us. Yeah. So I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. What do you think FlyQuest and Team Liquid can do at Worlds? Mm, I think they have many better players mm -hmm. and then they have many experience in big stage. So I think they're going to play well, but not sure our team. Yeah. So I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think, okay, here, can, do you think FlyQuest and Team Liquid yeah. can get out of Swiss stage or group stage? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Do you think they can make it out of quarter finals? No. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> like energy last year. Yeah. Yeah. They can make like how to say like eighth. Uh, eighth. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that for, they can get out of Swiss. Yeah. But nothing else. Nothing okay. else. Yes. Okay. I like this. You are helping us with our expectations. Yeah. Because many LCS fans go, "Oh my gosh, this is the year. Our teams are so good." And you're like, no, uh, 100 <laughs> Thieves could make it to Swiss. It yeah. sounds like you think 100 Thieves can make it to Swiss. Yes. And then maybe some wins, maybe yeah. losses. And then Team Liquid FlyQuest can make quarters. Yeah. And then maybe no Maybe more. no, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's good, it's good. All right, in the next couple of weeks, how will 100 Thieves prepare for Worlds? Mm. We're gonna go boot camp like two days after. Mm -hmm. And then we boot camp in tier offices. Office. Yeah. And then play screams. And then, yeah, just screams. Is there anyone you hope to play against if you make it to a Swiss stage? Mm, I wanna meet Arsia. Uh, LEC teams. LEC teams? Yeah. Okay. Because I lost BDS last year. Mm -hmm. So I want to beat them, right. LEC teams. Why uh, <coughs> do you think you can beat LEC teams? Of course. Okay. Okay. Of course. Well, good. I'm glad to hear you have confidence. Yeah. Because you, uh, you, you're like, 
Uh, 100 Thieves, but if it, you you think LEC teams are beatable. Of course. Yeah. G2? G2? Of course. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. G2, of course. So it sounds like you're like, you think uh, there's LEC, then LCS, then LPL, and LCK. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. I think that's what many people think, but fun to hear. Uh, all right. Are you... Uh, nervous at all of getting, playing on stage at Worlds, or as a veteran, do you no longer get nerves? Mm, maybe first game is a bit nervous, but I don't feel like nervous anything. So maybe not for yeah. me. Very good. Well, I'm excited to see you lead this team of young players on stage. Is there anything you want to say to Hundred Thieves player or Hundred Thieves fans? Yes. Uh, thank you for cheering us, and then we made worse anyway, so just keep cheering for us, then thank you. Thank you so much for the interview. Best of luck at Worlds. Can't wait to see you play. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things leading up to Worlds and Worlds itself right here on my YouTube channel. Guys? TGI fans? What are you doing in my room? Oh, I see. Travis put a he put a hidden camera in here. It says, Drew, do my outros or I will fire you. Okay. Um, well, guys, please go ahead and check out uh, the Hotline League that happened last week. We got Nuke Duck and Demonte. Some good insights into the kind of team's mindsets. Uh, go ahead and become a member today. Everything helps. You don't need to, but everything helps. And uh, check out... Uh, Check out Travis Gafford's Instagram at Travis Gafford underscore. Have a good day, guys. Uh, and please pray for me. I hope I do not get uh, fired.